The northern districts of Marseille are run down and neglected. Drug gangs rule supreme here. They control entire housing estates, guarding the entrances. We wouldn't have dared to come here unaccompanied. These streets are no-go areas. Normally, camera crews are driven away forcibly. We have a former police officer, Gilles Tachon, with us. He investigated crime here for 20 years. He and his colleagues weren't often successful, but they managed to catch some dealers. Over time, he got to know their methods. Look to the left. That's a place where they sell drugs. There's one of the lookouts waiting for customers. The lookouts watch to see which cars drive by. The system works like a roadblock. They're responsible for keeping unwanted visitors out and warning their associates. That way, they stop the dealers from getting caught. Tons of cannabis and cocaine, drugs worth millions of euros, are bought and sold here. Rival gangs fight for the best haul. They're constantly recruiting new teenagers. These are attracted by the money. A lookout earns 100 euros a day. A street dealer gets between 3,000 and 5,000 euros a month. And if they rise in the gang hierarchy, it can mean tens of thousands in income. Very few are willing to say anything on camera. I wasn't so good at school, but thankfully I got into dealing. It works like a business. We each have our place in the pecking order. We earn more than a bricklayer who gets up early and ends the day with a backache. We get up at 10, sit around here till evening. Of course the job's dangerous, but that's life. They are risking their lives. A number of them have fallen into the clutches of rival dealers. Many become the victims of vendettas. Here they pay tribute to those who've died at the end of a gun. Marseille is known as a mafia stronghold. It used to be a few rigidly organized family clans that controlled the drug trade. Nowadays, hundreds of lone fighters are in the business. It's an opportunity to get rich quick. In Marseille's northern districts, half of all young people are jobless. Nearly a third of families live under the poverty line. Would-be recruits are queuing up to join the drug trade. If the police arrest all the dealers in a gang and confiscate the drugs in the afternoon, the next morning new kids are dealing drugs in the same place. There are now as many gangs as there are apartment blocks. And the kids don't talk or negotiate anymore. They just start shooting at each other. This year, the police have confiscated hundreds of weapons like the one this boy is showing us, among them semi-automatic rifles. We need them to protect our turf against the others who want to get at us. The officers hardly ever catch the kids themselves. These days, patrols no longer dare to get near certain housing estates and only check the cars that leave, the dealers' potential customers. The gangs spread unchallenged, and the other residents feel abandoned. We never go out in the evening anymore. As soon as I get in my car, I lock it. I always look around to see if anyone's following or watching me, especially when I go to the supermarket. It's hell for elderly people like me. We just don't feel safe anymore. The kids will mug you as soon as look at you. They'll tear a necklace from your throat. You can't leave home with a handbag. Politicians seem helpless. While the conservative former president Nicolas Sarkozy had the police presence in northern Marseille reduced, the socialist government in Paris wants to send more than 200 additional police to Marseille. The left-wing mayor of the district says even that's not enough. She wants the army to patrol the district. I'm only saying what the residents don't dare say out loud because they know there would be repercussions. 
They're afraid their cars will be set on fire, they'll be threatened or their children assaulted. Those fears are justified. Often police have to let dealers go shortly after they've arrested them, especially if the dealers are minors. The police have the impression judges are undoing the work they've done. Our courts should finally start imposing harsher penalties on drug consumers and dealers. The war against drug gangs is not even close to being won. That harms Marseille's prospects as a European capital of culture next year. The old port is being spruced up and a large museum built. But not much is set to change in the city's northern districts.